M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning the ICOM 7610. So on the back of the 7610 you have antenna 1 and 2 and then you have receive antenna here as well, in and out. You can manually select these but there is an auto selection where it automatically, as you change through your different bands, it remembers the memories that you've stored for those antenna selections. And if you just press one and two, you can select one and two, and you can hold it, and it goes to receive antenna. Well, I'd see my finger on top of it, but that's what it can do. There is a whole menu dedicated to antenna selections. If you go menu and go antenna, got a nice big menu here, lots to tinker with. So we're in auto mode at the moment. If you press here, antenna switch, manual, and then we can turn it off completely. What does that do? Yeah, it doesn't even change. So you're fixed onto the antenna you last selected. If you go to manual, then you can switch to. But if you go to auto, it's gonna allow you to use the memories. So let's have a quick look at the, the memories here. So it's, let's have a look. You can see the memories here. Look, as it goes down, six to eight megs, is it eight to 11, 11 to 15 megs? Let's press here. See the way it's selecting antennas one and two. We can select receive antenna as well. We can turn on and off the antenna memory as well here. So let's change one of the antenna selections and then put it into memory. So we're on two to six. Change it to number two and then hold finger here, we get a couple of beeps, it's there. It's now in the antenna memory. Come out of the memory, then change the antenna to one, turn the memory back on, it goes back to two. I see it's got a temporary memory as well, temporary memory on. Let's tap the type button here, the type. RX antenna connectors. Connect external receive device, connect receive antenna. Okay, I've never used that, so I'm sure that uh, has a good function. So we'll just remember I'm just learning here, I'm not teaching, I'm just going through looking and learning at the function. And what you'll see is as you change bands, it will move to the, so I read that wrong, it actually went from 0 to 1.6 antenna all the way down to here, look, 45 to 60. So it's a much longer list than I, than I originally saw. So let's say I've got a you know 50 megahertz antenna that I want to use on FM, and then that's on number two. I would just change that to number two, and then save it. The temporary memory, if that's off, I'm seeing that it still stays at number two. Let's change it to number one. Temporary memory. Mm, not sure how that works. Someone, if someone's used that, someone let me know. So that's about it. You know, have a little play yourself. Come out by pressing memory scope. Different bands. Remember what antenna you're going to use. Plus all the other settings. I mean, that's the whole point of memory mode. So, yeah, it's a beautiful radio. Endless functions. En endless fun. And uh, yeah, I just really enjoy it. Bye for now and more to learn, 7-3.